Hey guys, so in this video, I want to show you guys how to verify your domains on Facebook. So with the new iOS 14 update, Facebook is making you verify the domains. So I'm, I want to go over how we've done it for Void Media and how you want to do it for your websites as well. So let's hop into the screen and I'll show you right now. So when you go to your business manager, there's going to be this brand safety tab. And what you want to do is click on domains. And when you click on domains, here you can add your domain. So you can see that this is sort of where we want to get to, which is the green one, which says it's verified. And again, you also want to, you also want to verify your subdomains too. So we have a Shopify store that runs on shop.voymedia.com. So we also want to verify that one. So I'm going to show you how I would do it. And then, um, kind of the way I would, the steps that you should take. So I'm going to remove it for now. And then I'm also going to remove it from uh, where I have the, do so our domains are, are set up in Cloudflare. It's what we like using. So, so here you could see that I had, um, I think it's something like this, this Facebook, you see how I have this Facebook domain verification. I'm going to delete it for now. That way I can show you the steps that I would take. So let's go back to here and refresh real quick. This should uh, now delete the, the domain it had. So I'm going to add Voy Media now here. So now that I added Voy Media, Facebook gives you these these steps that you could do. So there's uh, three ways you could do it. DNS verification, HTML file upload, or meta tag verification. So for what I was, what I, the preferred method I like to do is this DNS text verification. And the reason why I like doing it is because you only need to do it once on your DNS level, which is either your GoDaddy or for us Cloudflare, but you could also do meta tag verification, which is in the HTML of your website. Um, the reason why you might that might not want to do this is if you constantly updating your website, you could potentially delete the tag and Facebook would not know. With DNS, you really don't really go into this that much, uh, maybe once a year. So I'll show you guys how I would do it for DNS verification. So for DNS, uh, basically tells you, you need to create this DNS text record in your domain host. So log into your domain registrar and visit the DNS section. So your domain registrar for a lot of people, that could probably be GoDaddy or Namecheap. Um, but for me, we use Cloudflare. Uh, and the reason why, like I said, I really like Cloudflare, so that's where we, what, why we use that. So add this TXT record into DNS configuration. So copy your clipboard, go into your DNS setting. And like I said, this is similar to um, if you have like GoDaddy or, or anything like that. What you want to do is go to where it says TXT. In here, you want to use your at which is at just signifies your main root, which is voidmedia.com. And you can see that here. And then you want to paste it and then click save. Once you save it, go back to here and click verify. So now you can see that's been verified. So that's done. So now let's sort of show you how we would do it with the meta tag verification. Again, you may want to refresh so that it shows the green light. So yeah, you can see it's verified. So now let's say you want to, let's say you want to verify your domain, your sub subdomain. Let's remove this and let's also remove it from here because I already verified it through the DNS, but I'll remove it here just to show you guys. So I'll delete that. Now go here, remove. <clears throat> refreshing and for this method like I said if you have a Shopify store we're gonna do it from your Shopify theme settings so let's go here the reason why I also like DNS verification it's also much quicker so just something to just something to think about if you have subdomains such as landing pages such as try.voymedia.com shop.voymedia.com you're gonna to need to verify every subdomain um, so as you can see here I'm gonna add shop.voymedia com because this is our subdomain so you add that now it's going to give you this code again 
And this code is unique, so it's not going to be the same one as this one. But let's go to the meta tag verification. The meta tag verification is set the meta tag containing the verification code in the head section of your website's homepage. And it gives you this, the, the tag. So add this meta tag to the head section. So go here. Let's get this. And now we're going to go to our Shopify theme and we're going to go to edit code. And really what you want to do is look for the header. It should be called header. Whoops, sorry. Header. Usually it's called some sort of header thing. Or theme. <clears throat> Yeah, so it could potentially be in your theme. So you can see how in this theme.liquid, there's all this like head tag. You want to stick it in here. So I'm just going to press enter and then paste it and then click save. So now that's save, you ideally you want to, you need to go to your uh, website to look at it. So it says now go here. So Facebook gives you the link. Probably refresh a few times. And now click verify. So let's for refresh. This is why I don't like this method. It takes longer, but it should work because if you, you look at the source code, it should be there. But let's click verify again. Good. Oh, sorry. I got to click on the meta tag. Oh my God. It says verification pending, so let's refresh a few times. So if you look at the header code here, it should be here. So it's just going to take, it might take you a, little, a few seconds for Facebook to crawl the website. But let's give it, let's refresh one more time. But this is how you would do it. And then just click verify from Facebook and that way you can verify it. So let's see why why it's not f f finding the error. So anyways, it looks like Facebook is not verifying for some reason, even though it's on there. But let's just do a preview of this theme again. So it, this is where like, you got to just debug it. Let me refresh again and see. So go here, meta tag. That's weird. It's not verifying. So what I would do is let's verify it through the DNS setting. So this is how you would do it through here though. I think, I think with this method, it just takes a little bit longer for Facebook to crawl, but I prefer this method anyways. So let's go back to your DNS settings here and then go to add record. TXT. And remember for this one, since it's a subdomain, you want to be using your subdomain name. So that's going to be shop for us. And then paste that in and then click verify. Okay, so it could potentially take up to 72 hours. Um, I guess it was quicker for this one since we just did it really fast. 
but um, let's just wait 72 hours. But that's that's how you would do it to verify your domain. Um, like I said, there's two methods that you could do. I prefer the DNS method, but you can also do the meta tag method. And within a few hours, Facebook should verify your domain name. Um, so that's how it would work. And guys, any other questions, feel free to watch our other video that we did on iOS 14 and what this update means for you. Uh, but if you have any questions, make sure to just leave us a comment on the channel or feel free to send me an email. Thank you.